Plus, uh, I was hired by Team Trees to write a book, which will be coming out soon, hopefully. Um, we are also trying to raise money for Team Trees, so we are trying to push our merchandise or more t-shirts. You can go buy k Studio Gaming t-shirts, you can go buy Stobo Stories and Reviews t-shirts, you can get coffee mugs, hoodies, women's t-shirts, uh, you can get t-shirts that... James Hasher, he is the Team Trees man. He uh, also has his own t-shirts on there, which you can get nice work, nice quality work. If you guys like mix match things, you guys should be able to find some stuff on there. Um, he will be doing morpher kits and helmet kits for Power Rangers. If y'all want those, y'all can um, go to the link and message him. We can get more details on that for y'all. But today, the video I got, I'm not going to read Star Wars, even though I got it right here. Um, I'm not going to be doing a horror story, which I know I need to I need to do another one. It's been a while. I have I have them pre-written. Okay, so don't, don't worry on that. I got them. I just haven't been doing them. Um, but today, I'm trying something new. Today I got a five things video. I see them everywhere on Facebook, YouTube, everyone's doing these five things. So you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. Today for y'all, I got five things that annoy dishwashers. First off, I'm going to say dishwashers are not people person. We're not, okay? That's why we work in the back of the house and no one talks to us. No one bothers us. All you do is you bring us your dishes and you leave us alone. Like we, we walk in, our outfit, our uniform is a black t-shirt, jeans, and non-slip shoes. And we could wear, you know, you don't have to wear an apron. You don't have to wear a hat. None of that. You just listen to your music, do your job, and go home. But, that being said, most of us don't like the energetic morning type people. Which brings us to... Thing number one, morning people. How is it at six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning, y'all wake up and have the energy of the Energizer Bunny? Do y'all wake up and snort like a, a kilo of cocaine in the morning? Like, are y'all secretly Scarface? I had one girl walk up to me. I had just woken up, got to work. And, and my, hi, how are you? Good morning, what are you doing? Oh, back, back, back the fuck up. Oh, back the fuck up. Okay? Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to your dishwasher. We don't, we don't like that. But, with those annoying people, brings us to topic number two. Your obnoxious co-worker. You ever have something happen in the restaurant business where a dish breaks? Because don't lie, you know you have. It happens every single day. And you got that one person here, the thing break. <laughs> looking around, clapping. Why? We all heard the dish break. You got to be the only one clapping? Why? So you can make yourself look like a jackass? Oh, look at me. Yep, I'm the only one clapping. Great job, you broke a dish. Well, guess what, bitch? I don't see you clapping when you break the dish. 
Because I've seen it happen. So why is it okay for you to clap when someone else breaks the dish, but when you break the dish, you shut the fuck up. Mm-mm. We don't, we don't, we don't talk about that. No, I didn't break no dish. No, 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 no. Yeah. If you, if you, if you can clap for someone else when they break a dish, you can take the clap back. Okay. Okay. Don't, you don't catch an attitude when someone else wants to rub it in your face and give you a nice clap when you break something. Don't give them an attitude when, when you do it to them. Don't be a bitch. But with the breaking of the dishes, that brings us to reason number three, or thing number three. <laughs> Which would be when the servers bring the dishes back to the dish tank. Why do y'all gotta stack things like you are building a fucking pyramid in Egypt? Huh? Why? Do you know how hard it is to organize my dish tank when I got plates and bowls stacked on top of each other like I'm a, like I'm organizing the Leaning Tower of Pisa? And then, reason number two, dishes break and you want to clap at it. Well, it wouldn't have fucking broken if you hadn't fucking stacked it like that. You're not the fucking goddamn greatest architect in the world. Okay? can't stack bowls and plates and knives and shit and expect it all to stay in one fucking tower. That's why you have certain size plates. So you can stack them on top of each other. You can have your bowls stacked, you know, with your bowls and your dinner plates stacked with, oh, I don't know, your, your fucking dinner plates, your salad bowls, your salad bowls, and your fucking syrup cups, damn syrup cups. Okay? Got your bread pans. It all looks the same. It all stacks together for a fucking reason. I'm pretty sure as a kid we all played the fucking game where you put the circle in the circle thing and the square in the square hole and the triangle in the triangle hole and when you put the triangle in the circle hole you realize it didn't fucking work. So you put it in the one that it did look like and guess what it fucking fit. What happened where you lost the ability to, to do that? With dishes. Huh? Learn your fucking shapes. Go back to school. Stack your damn dishes right. Which brings us to thing number four. Lack of stacking. When y'all get into a rush or shit hits the fan, it's like y'all don't... Y'all just kind of want to just throw your shit at me or at any other dishwasher and you don't care how it looks how much work it puts on us because it's our job but when we say it to you it's like we're, we're speaking against the holy bible or something like when you bring us plates back and it's still got eggs and pancakes and bacon and gravy and mashed potatoes and shit like that on him and you want to stack it on top of or under other shit because you're in a rush or you just want to take stuff and I don't know lay it down where it looks like you just fucking took a dustpan and kind of just hurled it on the side and just let everything sprawl on the floor if you want to do that every time you get into a rush do not expect your dishwasher to be very happy, or do not expect him to do what you ask when you need it. Like, if you come back and say, oh, we, we, we need some silverware ASAP, but you just came back and made a fucking mess on my dish tank that I just spent two hours trying to organize, and you just want to come by and wipe your ass on it. I think I'll move on to something else before I get to your silverware. So y'all can feel my anger too. But that is nothing compared to thing number five. Thing number five pisses me off the most. Our kind of place where we serve sausage gravy and biscuits, grits, mashed potatoes, stuff like that. But they have it in a plastic pan. 
that sits in like a heating well all day. Well, that shit gets cooked on the sides and on the bottom. Well, if you look at your any dish tank in any restaurant business, you have about two or three sinks full of hot water and other dishes. Well, those dishes, they're that those dishes go in the hot water. That's why that sink full of hot water is there for those specific items. So it can soak for about 30, 40 minutes. So when I get to it later in the day, guess what? I can pick it up, spray it out, run it through the fucking dishwasher. It comes out nice and fucking clean. Throw it on the rack, let it dry, and you can use it again. But if you bring it back and it's full of that crap and I have to empty it out into the trash can and then set it in the hot water, it's going to take a little bit longer. Or if I, or if you see I have a fuck ton of dishes and you come back and you put that big hot steaming pan of sausage gravy and biscuits on that and you know I'm not going to be able to get to it for another hour or so it's just sitting there and you, there's, there's room in that sink you could have just dipped it in respect your damn dishwashers please soak your dishes tune in next time for another video trying to do them more frequently when I get the time um, like I said like subscribe share this has been Stubbo Stories and Reviews till next time deuces